take a few moments here and say a final thank you to the great congregation that has come from so many places. Yes. Holy Spirit is blessing my sister Faye back there. Praise the name of the Lord. It's all right, isn't it? It's all right. All right in the house of God. Praise the name of the Lord. I never have been one to quench the Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost take precedent over anything I have to do. If wants to break out anywhere, anytime, I just step back and say, Lord, you're the master, ruler of the house. Have your way and do what you want to do. I never did have a script I couldn't tear up and a plan I couldn't fold up. So God is good. Praise the name of the Lord. Actually, a preacher in a city, pastors of church, feels the strength of people when they come. And he's at his high moment, his high level. He'll come down and face everything later, so it's a high that he gets on. We all get on the high. That high is a spiritual high. And so it just gets us on up. Amen. Us on up. And Paul didn't deny that. He said, we were. He said, Couple of, he said, well, one statement he made, he said, if we be beside ourselves. Yeah, he's Is that what Paul said? If we be beside ourselves. He said, uh, uh, it's all right. If we, if we be sober, it's for your, for your cause, for your sake. Amen. Uh, but um, we thank the Lord that we can have this joy in our hearts. And uh, this peace. And then he used another statement. He said, Then if you then be risen with Christ. Uh -huh. Sounds like a high, doesn't it? Yes. If you then be risen with Christ. Hallelujah. It's going on high. Amen. Seek those things which are above. Yes. Where Christ sitteth at the right hand of God. Amen. And uh, so we're glad to be here. And I want all the time I can allow and, and God can allow and will allow. He squeezed in this great day today, the final day of the of many that have stayed over with us and are here. And we just want to hear ministers. There's so many that have not said anything, not to say anything. And so I would ask that you just, you brethren, I want you to speak, do what I want you to do. No muzzle on the oxen, but tread it out the corn. Uh, and. Uh, as many of you as you can, let the Lord use you and move right in after I sit back and say it, you prefer the ministers, let them uh, give us all the food they can give us Amen. in this remaining time today we have, and hear these men of God, that's a biblical order to do that, and uh, so uh, we uh, local saints have a chance to testify and we wouldn't quench anybody that was motivated and moved by the Spirit of God, but we do want to hear anything and everything that the ministry can say to this church uh, and help us with. Um, welcome um, a friend of mine. I went down. Oh, they invited me. They called me. They were having an anniversary meeting in the Refuge Church of our Lord Jesus Christ is our neighboring assembly. It's right down here on 8, just below us. And um, we're friends to the ministers in this community. I have many, many friends in this community of the Amen. ministers. And I'm invited to ministers' councils, ministers' gatherings. And um, uh, they open their arms to me. I drop in their services every time on Sunday morning. And, and I'm there with them, you know, and I know pastors. Church of God in Christ and and uh, across the river, pastors there and uh, here right beside me. And uh, I was, they invited me, Elder Carter. Elder Carter, would you stand up and let the folks see you? And all the folks are here to see you. All the folks, all the folks in our Lord, Jesus Christ, Lord God, this morning, right? Let us see you today. I'm glad to see 
Someone said, Brother Marlowe, are you a wealthy man? Do you have a lot of money? Yeah. No, I don't. I've emptied my bank account as fast as it comes in. Uh, Sister Marlowe and I are depending on the grace of God to save us Amen. as we go into our latter years. Uh, I've given and we've given everything back to the church uh, because um, I don't, I'm not going to take any of it with me out to Ellen and Gillette Road where I have a plot there. And um, I promise you, uh, Wells Fargo and Bank of America will be gone from my memory. And I will not, uh, I'm sure that my daughter and my wife will not get a U-Haul and haul it in my personal possessions. Thank you. God bless you. Um, thank you for that. That you came in. Uh, so, you know, I look at life that way. I've been that way since I was a child. I never wanted to hoard anything, stuff it in my pockets. I wanted to find where I could give to others. Had a man come up here the other day. He was homeless. We feed the homeless here. Uh, and we have a food program. And on Fridays, if you would come here, people are coming here in bicycles and they're walking on canes and they're driving up in old cars and they pack this parking lot. And we feed sometimes upwards of 100, 125, 150, Amen. About 200 people coming in. And we give them packages of food to take home. And we have clothing that we give them. And uh, they pack this parking lot. We use our dining room. You go in the dining room in there, and there's people. And some of them don't, they don't smell very good. Why don't they smell very good? Uh, they, they slept under a bridge. Bradenton is filled with the homeless. America is filled with the homeless. This country is filled with the homeless. You may not see them, but you go in the parts of the city, and now they're not in the outer skirts. They're moving camps into the inner part of our cities. And so we feed them, we uh, give them food. And I go in among them and I'll say, how are you? And, and cook me and sometimes their head is shaking, their hand is trembling. And uh, I'll pray with them. And uh, I say, do you have a, a, some a food here for you? Can you eat it? Uh, but uh, we, we do that uh, because that's, that's the work. Of, of Christ, uh, uh, it isn't to look good here on a platform. Jesus Christ is more than what we have assembled right here. Thank you. There's a hundred, um, and, and I thank you, thank you. God bless you. Um, I'm, I'm saying this about the church. Uh, we must have this. Thank God for this. But the church is more than this. Yes. It's more than what we see with the exterior here. Um, here's another 50. Uh, Brother Matthew, just hold these for me, okay? Uh, take these aside and hold them. Thank you, my goodness. And uh, when I was, uh, oh, thank you, God bless you. Uh, when I was uh, standing outside here last week, uh, a man came into the office and they had told him that our food program wasn't until Friday, and we had no uh, way to feed him. And they parked him in the front office up there, and he was hungry. And when you got hungry, you got desperate. And he wouldn't leave. He just stood there. So I came in the office, and I said, what, what's this man here? And they, they told me, they said, well, we told him there's no food here today. We can't feed him. Uh, the pantry's not open. And uh, Sister Carol, who heads that up, wasn't here that particular day. And um, so I said, wait a minute. If there's no food in the pantry and we don't have anything, come on, brother. He said, I have no car. I said, well, get in my car. I said, where did you sleep last night? down here by the riverfront. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in a couple of days. Get in my car. I took him around to a restaurant around here. I bought him a $15 meal. And he sat there. An emotional person. It's 
You know, when you're trying to run, you want to be sure you touch every base. Amen. Amen. Because running, running this one time, you're not going to go back and run these bases over. I was hungry. How do you know that had anything to do with Marlowe? I don't really know theology that well. I wouldn't argue and debate with you about it. Thank you. But I've got something in me that I don't want to lose. Called tenderness. treat you any way I want to and get by with it. I can use you any way I want to and it's all right. Just let me get to the top. I'd better not do that. I'd better remember that you are my stepping stone and my burden bearer and my helper. And I'm not going to step on you. I'm going to take you and stand you up with me. Amen. We're going to together. See, I thank you for the offerings already given, and I'm just saying by faith, I uh, will use this for this purpose to help our brethren, and uh, we'll we'll manage the expenses here and do what we need to do uh, as God allows us. But we're so glad you have come, and thank you for allowing me to share my emotional moment with you, and uh, we. We love the Lord today. If you love the Lord, let us receive our offering where these brethren can move right in and the Lord overshadow the rest of the day. Let me ask you, would you like to join me in a praise to the Lord for this day? And say with your pastor today, this is the day that the Lord hath made. And we will be glad and rejoice in it. This is the day that the Lord hath made, and we will be glad and rejoice in it. Praise the name of the Lord, and God bless and overshadow every one of you and the rest of this world. Amen.